Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the refrigerator's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the LG refrigerator water line. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new water line. The water line runs from the water inlet valve up into the refrigerator. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's cracked or damaged and you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to change the part, we have to open up the left refrigerator door. Now that we have the door open, we can reach in and we're going to throw a towel up on the shelf to catch any water that may come out when the filter is removed. To get the filter out, we're going to turn it counterclockwise to release it. Once you have it released, we can pull it out of the housing. Now that we have the water filter out of the way, we can reach in with the Phillips screwdriver and take the screw out that holds the housing to the top of the refrigerator. Once you have the screw out, there's a locking tab towards the back, so we're going to pull it forward to release it then we can just set it down. Now that we have the housing off the top of the refrigerator, we can go around back. Now that we're on back, we're going to take the water line off the water valve. You want to make sure you throw a towel down to catch any water that may come out. Once you have that down, we're going to use a half inch wrench to take the water line off. Once you have the water line disconnected, you can just set it out of the way. With the water line out of the way, we can take the access cover off the back. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws that hold it to the refrigerator. Once you take all the screws off, you can set the access cover aside. Anytime you have the access cover off the refrigerator, you want to take the time to clean everything up in here. You want to be very careful of all the copper lines, especially the smaller ones over by the compressor. If you damage any of those, you're going to have to have the refrigerator repaired. Now we're going to take the valve off the body so it's easier to take the water line off. All you have to do is use your Phillips screwdriver and take the screw out that holds it to the frame. Once you have the screw out, you can grab the water valve and spin it out so we can take the water line off. There's a little locking tab on here. We're going to press these two tabs so it comes out the other side. If you have to, you can grab it with a needle nose pliers and pull it out. But it should come out pretty easy. Once you have that out, we're going to take a 3 8 inch wrench and press up against this locking collar. Once you have that pressed up, you can pull the water line out of the valve. Once you have the water line disconnected, we can carefully set the valve down and then go ahead and take the rest of the water line off. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver just to loosen these up and pull the water line out from underneath them. Now that we have all the clamps loose, we're going to use our 3 inch wrench again. We're going to disconnect this fitting at the blue water line. So all you have to do is press down on the release collar and pull the water line out. Once you have it out of the way, we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take the screw out so we can take the cover off. Once you have the screw out, you can just release this tab right here and lift it up. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. Now that we have everything released from the back, we can go around front and disconnect the line from the filter head. We're going to grab the assembly and pull it all the way out to the front of the fridge. Once you have it pulled to the front of the refrigerator, you can see the water line is attached right here and it has one of those locking tabs. So we're just going to reach in and pull that out and set it aside. And then we're going to take a 3 inch wrench again to press the locking collar in so we can pull the water line out. Once you have the water line disconnected, we can pull the assembly out of the refrigerator. Now we can go around back and pull the water line out of the back of the refrigerator. 
Here's the old water line next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. The new water line doesn't come with the spring, so we're going to have to take it off the old one and put it on the new one. In case the tape is old and dried up, you may want to have a piece of electrical tape ready to put it onto the new one. All you have to do is slide it over the new water line and you want to put it about maybe an inch or so below the black line and then we can just run some tape around it to hold it in place. Once you have the spring installed on the new water line, we can put it into the refrigerator. Now we can put the new water line through the back wall of the refrigerator. When you put it through the opening, make sure you put it on the left, the larger hole, and all you have to do is push it into the refrigerator. Once you have it in, we can go inside the refrigerator and hook it up to the filter head assembly. We're going to just carefully line it up and push the water line in so it bottoms out and you get a good seal. Once you have it all the way in, we're going to grab that locking tab and lock the collar so the water line can't come out. And we're going to swing the assembly around and push the water lines out through the back. And as you're guiding it back, you want to make sure the blue water line goes through its opening. And then we're going to hook the assembly up onto this mounting point and push it back so it locks in place. And then we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screw in to hold the front. Once you have the assembly secured to the top of the refrigerator, we can put the water filter back in. All you have to do is push it back so it goes all the way in and then turn it to lock it in place. Now that we have everything installed in the refrigerator, we can close the refrigerator door. Now we're on the back side of the refrigerator. We're going to reconnect everything back here. First thing we're going to do is reconnect the blue water line. All you have to do is push it in so it locks down into place. Make sure it goes all the way down. There's no locking tab on this one. Then we can put the cover over this. We're going to hook the top in first and then rotate it down, making sure that the blue and white lines go into their little openings. We can push it down and lock the side tab in. We can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screw in. Now that we have the cover on, we can run the water line down the back of the refrigerator. We're going to take those clamps that we moved earlier and just put them over the water line and tighten them down. Now that we have the upper two clamps tightened down, we're going to leave these two off for right now until we actually hook the water line up to the water valve. We may have to kind of loop the water line a little bit to take up any extra slack. Now we can hook the water line up to the valve. All you have to do is plug it in so it seats all the way and you get a good connection so it doesn't leak. You want to make sure it goes all the way up inside the valve until it bottoms out. Once you have it all the way in and secure, we can put the locking clip on it so it doesn't come out. Once you have the locking clip secure, we can rotate the valve over. You're going to have to push the water line underneath the water valve. This little spring will make sure that you don't kink it, but just be careful. You have to kind of make it turn down there and then line up the water valve so we can put the screw in to hold it in place. Once you have the water valve secure, we can grab the water line and run it up through the tabs that hold it to the back of the refrigerator. Once you have the water line secure underneath the clamps, you may have to make a loop to get rid of the excess line. So just run it up the back at a little bit of a zigzag. Once you have the line in place, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to tighten down the screws.
Now that we have the water line secure, we can put the access cover back onto the refrigerator. In order to put the access cover on, at the bottom there's a couple locking tabs that hook onto the body. So you want to make sure that those are in place. And once you have that lined up and over the frame, we can lift up the access cover and put the screws in. Now that we have the access cover installed, we can reconnect the water line with our half inch wrench. To hook up the water line, all you have to do is line it up with the valve and tighten it down so you don't get any leaks. Now that we have the water line installed, we can plug the refrigerator back in, turn the water back on, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.